Hi, good morning. Thank you for attending. We're going to get started in about three minutes. All right, good morning. Welcome to our webinar. I am Lorene Bobo, Director of Transportation Development, and on behalf of the District 5 team, we would like to welcome you to the District's Fiscal Year 2020 Virtual Consultant Acquisition Plan, or CAP, forum. Before we begin, let's cover some general information. This presentation will be recorded for future reviewing, and the link where it can be accessed will be provided at the end of this presentation following today's meeting along with a copy of the presentation. So let's get started. All right. Today, the following departments will be sharing their needs for the upcoming year. Our agenda for today. We will be presenting our professional services acquisitions in the following District 5 offices. Clemo, design, traffic operations, construction, program management, and maintenance. The objective of today's presentation is to provide you all of the valuable information on each of the advertisements. If you have questions related to the acquisitions presented today, please contact the project or contract manager identified on each of the advertisement slides. Please note the information presented today is subject to change so please follow our planned and formal advertisements for updated information as it relates to the projects your firm is interested in pursuing. District 5 supports small business programs set forth by the department. We have several business development initiatives, or BDI, advertisements you'll hear about today from our various offices. In addition, we'll provide information on the department's Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or DBE program, objectives, goals, and best practices. We'll close out today's webinar with information on where this presentation will be placed for future reference. Resources available to consultants that provide District 5 insights and answer any questions that you may have. Also, we'll be monitoring the chat room and you can submit so you can submit questions or comments here and we will answer them at the end. Thank you for attending today. And let's get started with Planning and Environmental Management Office. 
Thank you. The Planning and Environmental Management Office has nine new contracts being advertised this year. From February 2019 through June 31, 2020, this includes one new district-wide contract, three continuous service contracts, and five pd e studies for an estimated total of $35.3 million. We have provided a detailed summary for each of the contracts for the Planning and Environmental Management Office. Thank you for all of your interest. FPID 436360-1 pd e study for the State Road 40 Black Bear Scenic Trail from Levy Hammock Road to State Road 15 U.S. 17 in Marion, Lake, and Volusia counties. The pd e study will evaluate alternatives for the development of a multi-use trail for approximately 27 miles. The formal advertisement is anticipated in October of 2019 with contract execution in May of 2020. FPID 437174-2 pd e study for State Road 535 from US 192 to State Road 536 World Center Drive in Osceola and Orange Counties. The pd e study will evaluate the widening of State Road 535 from four to six lanes for approximately two miles. The formal advertisement is anticipated in July of 2019 with contract execution in April of 2020. FPID 443623-1 pd e study for I-75 from the Florida Turnpike to State Road 200 in Sumter and Marion Counties. The pd e study will evaluate the widening of I-75 for approximately 23 miles. The formal advertisement is anticipated in April of 2019 with contract execution in November 2019. FPID 443624-1 pd e study for I-75 from State Road 200 to County Road 234 in Marion and Alachua counties. The pd e study will evaluate the widening of I-75 for approximately 25 miles the formal advertisement is anticipated in April of 2019 with contract execution in November 2019. These I-75 pd e studies will be advertised under one procurement in shortlisting five firms and selecting two firms. FPID 4447871 pd e study for the State Road 401 bridge replacement at Port Canaveral between State Road 528 and 1,000 feet north of the bridges in Brevard County. The pd e study will evaluate the replacement of bridges at Port Canaveral. The formal advertisement is anticipated in August of 2019 with contracts execution in April of 2020. FPID 445258-1 is for a continuous services contract for RCI data collection and analysis support for a period of five years. This contract will assist the Planning and Environmental Management Office with RCI and HPMS data collection, inventory, and support for required features, characteristics, or other products to the standards outlined in the FDOT General Interest Roadway Data Procedure and other handbooks, policies, and procedures put forth by the FDOT Transportation Data and Analytics Office. The formal advertisement is anticipated in February of 2019 
with contract execution in July of 2020. FPID 241149-1 is for the district-wide environmental consultant contract for a period of five years. This contract will assist the Environmental Management Office with miscellaneous environmental services. This will entail performing analysis and documentation of various social, cultural, natural, and physical environmental impacts of transportation projects, including but not limited to cultural resource assessments, protected species surveys, contamination screening, and noise analysis. The formal advertisement is anticipated in July of 2019 with contract execution by February of 2020. FPID 241152-1 is a continuing services contract for pd and &E and planning studies for a period of five years. This contract will assist the Planning and Environmental Management Office with pd and &E engineering and planning services. The formal advertisement is anticipated in July of 2019 with contract execution in January of 2020. FPID 437314-1 is a continuing services contract for trade and logistic consultant services for a period of five years. The contract will provide planning and technical services to the department with a focus on trade, aviation, spaceports, and seaport modes of transportation. The formal advertisement is anticipated in September 2019 with contract execution in April of 2020. Hello, my name is Mario Vizio. I am the District 5 Design Engineer. During this section of the webinar, we will cover design-related projects to be advertised and awarded for the 2020 fiscal year in the areas of roadway design, structures design, and consultant project management. These design units will conduct 13 advertisements, which will include a total of 23 contracts to be awarded, with an estimated total budget of $44 million. For a more in-depth review of these projects, I will now turn this over to our respective design team members. SPID 426-179-1. Silver Springs State Park Pedestrian Bridge. The purpose of this project is to build two timber pedestrian bridges over tributaries of the Silver River, connected with boardwalks and ground level trails. This project came about as part of a mitigation plan written into a memorandum of understanding with the FDEP. Due to the right-of-way impacts from the State Road 40 project, SPID number 410-674-2. FDOT will build the bridges and then turn them over to the FDEP for all future maintenance. FDOT will have no right-of-way interest. Project Manager, Carol Hatfield. This project is located in Marion County. Estimated contract amount is 600000 Estimated contract execution is September of 2019. Estimated length of contract, five years. This is not a BDI project. FPID 437-121-1. US-1 Park Ave from south of Park Ave to north of Park Ave. This traffic operations project consists of replacing existing stream poles with mast arms. There will be a right-of-way acquisition required. This project is being advertised with FPID 439-135-1. Project Manager, Gene Verrato. 
This project is located in Volusia County. Estimated contract amount, $370,000. FPID 439135-1. State Road 5054 at Wickham Road, Mass Arms. The purpose of the project is to remove the existing diagonal strain pulse signal and reconstruct with mast arms, including the addition of northbound and southbound four section flashing yellow arrows. This project is being advertised with FPID 437-121-1. Project Manager, Gene Verano. This project is located in Brevard County. Estimated contract amount, $310,000. Projects, 439874-2, 4, 439874-3, will be designed under one design contract. Project Manager, Talib Shams. This project is located in Volusia County. Estimated contract amount, $2,143,988. Estimated contract execution, May 2020. Estimated length of contract, 24 months. This project is not a BDI project. FPID 442905-1, State Road 500, US 441, from County Road 437A, Central Avenue to Bradshaw Road. Resurfacing project for an urban principal arterial with access classifications five and seven. The purpose of this project is to rehabilitate the asphalt pavement to extend the service life of the existing curbed roadway and includes necessary roadside improvements such as the repaving of the existing median crossovers, driveway modifications, and ADA improvements. This project includes two signalized intersections. This project goes with SPID number 442909-1. Project Manager, Carol Hatfield. This project is located in Orange County. Estimated contract amount is 518,000. Estimated contract execution is January of 2020. Estimated length of contract is 24 months. This project is not a BDI. SPID 442909-1, State Road 520 from west of Yates Road to Brevard County Line. Resurfacing project for a rural principal arterial with access classification 03. The purpose of this project is to rehabilitate the asphalt pavement to extend the service life of the existing roadway and includes necessary roadside improvements such as the repaving of the existing median crossovers and some guardrail installations. This project goes with SPID number 442905-1. Project Manager Carol Hatfield. This project is located in Orange County. Estimated contract amount, 542,000. Estimated contract execution, January of 2020. Estimated length of contract, 24 months. This contract is not a BDI. FPID number 442906-1, State Road 400, from County Road 4009, Williamson Boulevard, to east of Forest Lake Boulevard, this is a resurfacing project. 
The purpose of this project is to rehabilitate the asphalt pavement to extend the service life of the existing roadway, including necessary roadside improvements in accordance with FDM 114. Project Manager, Heidi Trivet. This project is located in Volusia County. FPID number 443-170-1 State Road 93, I-75, from Sumter County to State Road 200. The purpose of this project is to rehabilitate the asphalt pavement to extend the service life of the existing roadway and also includes necessary roadside improvements such as the repaving of the existing median crossovers and some guardrail installations. Project Manager, Megan Owens. This project is located in Marion County. Estimated contract amount, one million two hundred fifty thousand estimated contract execution December of 2019 estimated length of contract 18 months this contract is not a BDI the purpose of this project is to realign the northbound approach of State Road 500A at State Road 500 US 441 intersection to reduce the crash severity and or frequency of left turning vehicles, including the use of high friction surface treatment, HSFT. This project goes with FPID 443546-1. Project Manager, Jude Jean Francois. This project is located in Lake County. Estimated contract amount, $700,000. Estimated contract execution, October 2019. Estimated length of contract, 24 months. This project is not a BDI project. 443-546-1. State Road 25, 500. From north of Griffin Road to south of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in Lake County. The purpose of the project is to remove the existing two-way left turn lane and construct a raised median to provide access management on the corridor. This project goes with FPID 443-507-1. Project Manager, Jude Jean Francois. This project is located in Lake County. FPID 417-074-1, District-Wide Quality Assurance Plans Review. The intent for this district-wide contract is for performing quality assurance, technical and constructability reviews of construction plans along with the supporting documentation. The types of construction plans to be reviewed may include designs prepared by consultants or FDOT staff for interstate highways, highways on the state road system and streets off the state road system, design build roadway and or landscape joint project agreement projects, JPA, Utility work by highway contractor JPAs, local agency program LAP projects, state grants or other liaison projects, permits by developers, or local agencies on the state road system. Submitted units or offices may include project development, consultant project management, FDOT in-house roadway design, district construction, 
district maintenance, local maintenance, district utilities, structures design, and structures maintenance office. Elements of work shall include, if required, roadways, drainage, intersection improvements, pedestrian bicycle facilities, temporary traffic control plans, transportation management plan, utility adjustment plans, signing and pavement markings, signalization, lighting, landscaping, structures, miscellaneous highway related structures, supporting documentation such as design documentation and design calculations, cost estimates, quality computations, and any other necessary incidental items. The consultant's review team shall have individuals with at least 10 years design experience and individuals with at least 10 years CEI, construction, engineering, and inspection experience. The traffic control plan reviews shall ensure the plans are done in accordance with the department standard plans in the FDOT design manual. These reviews shall be done by a certified designer who has completed the department's advanced maintenance of traffic training course. Project manager, Todd Alexander. This is a district wide project. Estimated contract amount, $1.5 million. Estimated contract execution, September 2019. Estimated length of contract, five years. This project is not a BDI project. SPID 417069-1-32-04. This contract is for district-wide structures design consultant assistance. The formal ad date is April 2019. The estimated contract execution is October 2019. This advertisement is for continuing services contracts 014 and 015. These contracts will be used to design primarily 3R roadway and safety projects. Project mix may include, but is not limited to, stabilization, multimodal improvements, intersection improvements, turn lanes, million resurfacing, lighting, drainage, minor structures, trail, minor widening, roundabouts, etc. Project managers will be assigned based on each task work order. Allison Rodriguez will serve as the contract manager and is the point of contract for any questions. The contracts will cover projects throughout the district and each has a budgetary ceiling of 1.5 million. The contract length is five years with an estimated execution date of September of 2019. They are BDI contracts. We will be shortlisting five firms and selecting two. Teams should be structured to handle multiple assignments simultaneously. Letters of interest should identify the specific team members and their areas of relevant expertise. This advertisement is for Continuing Services Contract 022. This contract will be used to design primarily 3R roadway and safety projects. The project mix may include, but is not limited to, signalization, multimodal improvements, intersection improvements, turn lanes, millionary resurfacing, lighting, drainage, minor structures, trail, minor widening, roundabouts, and etc. Project managers will be assigned based on each task work order. Allison Rodriguez will serve as the contract manager and is the point of contact for any questions. The contract will cover projects throughout the district and has a budgetary ceiling of $1.5 million. The estimated contract length is five years with an execution date of March 2020. This is a BDI contract. The majority of task work orders will be executed in the first two years. We will be shortlisting three firms and selecting one. Teams should be structured to handle multiple assignments simultaneously. 
letters of interest should identify the specific team members and their areas of relevant expertise. This advertisement is for continuing services contracts 016, 017, and 018. These contracts will be used to design primarily 3R roadway and safety projects. The project mix may include, but is not limited to, signalization, multimodal improvements, intersection improvements, turn lanes, million resurfacing, lighting, drainage, minor structures, trail, minor widening, roundabout, etc. Project managers will be assigned based on each task work order. Allison Rodriguez will serve as the contract manager and is the point of contact for any questions. The contracts will cover projects throughout the district and each contract has a budgetary ceiling of five million. The length is five years and estimated execution date is October of 2019. These are not BDI contracts. We will be shortlisting five firms and selecting three. Teams should be structured to handle multiple assignments simultaneously. Letters of interest should identify the specific team members and their areas of relevant expertise. This advertisement is for continuing services contracts 019, 020, and 021. These contracts will be used to design primarily 3R roadway and safety projects. Project mix may include, but is not limited to, signalization, multimodal improvements, intersection improvements, turn lanes, million resurfacing, lighting, drainage, minor structures, trail, minor widening, roundabouts, etc. Project managers will be assigned based on each task work order. Allison Rodriguez will serve as the contract manager and is the point of contact for any questions. These contracts will cover projects throughout the district and each contract has a budgetary ceiling of five million. The contract length is five years with an estimated execution date of February 2020. These are not BDI contracts. The majority of task work orders will be executed in the first two years. We will be shortlisting five firms and selecting three. Teams should be structured to handle multiple assignments simultaneously. Letters of interest should identify the specific team members and their areas of relevant expertise. Hello, this is Jim Strickles. I'm the District Traffic Operations Engineer, and this portion of the webinar will cover the traffic operations advertisements for fiscal year 2020. We will be advertising three projects, two of which are continuing service contracts, and the third is a freight studies effort. The total amount of the advertisements will be just under $10.5 million. And now I'll turn it over to the Traffic Ops team to give more detailed information about each of these advertisements. District-wide traffic engineering continuing services. These are two independent five-year contracts with major work type 6.1 traffic engineering studies and minor work types including traffic signal timing and ITS related work types. The anticipated advertisement is April 2019 with an estimated contract execution of October 2019. SPID 440-414-1-22-01. Freight studies for improved mobility and safety. This project seeks to engage the trucking industry and others to determine specific corridors and strategies for improvements that aid freight movement. This project will look at the application of connected vehicle-based techniques for transit operations. It will also look at enriching the FDOT data integration and vehicle aggregation system otherwise known as DBIS, for lane closure, incident lane closure wait times, and route restrictions, such as bridge height restrictions. The project will consider automated vehicle inspection technology and available HAZMAT databases for connecting information to way stations and Florida Highway Patrol in order to minimize disturbance to freight providers. The anticipated advertisement for this contract is August of 2019 
Hello, my name is John Tyler, and I'm the District Construction Engineer. This portion of the webinar will cover the District's Consultant CEI Work Program for fiscal year 2020. We will be advertising a total of seven CEI groups, with a total of $18.6 million in estimated CEI fees. Two of the seven groups will be BDI, or Business Development Initiative Procurements, and restricted to small companies. All of the CEI groups will be selected from expanded letters of response. I will now turn it over to the District Finance CEI team, who will review a more detailed description for each of the groups. Thank you. SPID 238395-5. This project is in Lake County and includes the widening from four to six lanes of US 441 from Lake Ella Road to Avenida Central. The addition of bicycle lanes and sidewalks will also be included on this project. The existing bridges over County Road 25 will be removed and replaced with an at-grade intersection. Other project features include landscaping, access management updates, concrete curb and gutter, concrete sidewalk, drainage work, noise wall, gravity wall, utility relocation work for the town of Lady Lake, pedestrian lighting, signal work, signing, and marking work, and ITS. The construction project manager is Eric Jaggers out of the Leesburg Operations Office. The estimated construction cost for this project is $28.6 million, and the anticipated construction start date is April 2020. This project will be part of the CEI Group 180 contract advertised in March 2019. SPID 439138-1. This is a milling and resurfacing project along State Road 19 from Norton Avenue to Lake Saunders Drive in Lake County. The main objective is to extend the life of the existing pavement through milling and resurfacing of the travel lanes and auxiliary lanes along State Road 19. By reducing the lane width through the use of pavement markings and the removal of on-street parking, there will be 12-foot inside lanes, 13-and-a-half-foot outside lanes, and a 7-foot buffered bicycle lane. Additional improvements include updates to pedestrian ramps and signal features to comply with ADA requirements, along with minor signing and drainage upgrades. The construction project manager is Eric Jaggers. The estimated construction cost for this project is $3.9 million, and the anticipated construction start date is February 2020. This project is part of CEI Group 180 with advertisement in March of 2019. SPID 430975-5 is a proposed 2.6-mile multi-use trail that will consist of a 14-foot paved trail with a 2-foot inside grass shoulder and an 8-foot grass outside shoulder to accommodate an equestrian path. The proposed south trailhead is in Orange County and will accommodate parking for five trailers, 20 vehicles, and two handicapped vehicles. The proposed north trailhead is in Lake County and will accommodate parking for nine trailers, 40 vehicles, and two handicapped vehicles. This is a 3D design project that will be carried forward into construction as a pilot project for the state. CEI consultants submitting for this pilot project should include their skills, resources, and experience with 3D models in their expanded letter of response. The construction project manager is Eric Jaggers. The estimated construction cost for this project is $2.9 million. The anticipated construction start date is November 2019. This project is part of the CEI Group 180 contract that is to be advertised in March 2019. SPID 437938-1. This is a milling and resurfacing project along State Road 19 from Golden Gym Drive to 75 foot south of Palmetto Street in Lake County. The main objectives of this project is to extend the life of the existing pavement through milling and resurfacing of the travel lanes and auxiliary lanes along State Road 19. From mile post 3.8 to mile post 4.9, the proposed typical section will include 11 foot inside lanes and outside lanes and a four and a half foot lane to accommodate bicycles. This is accomplished by reducing lane widths through the use of pavement markings. On street parking will remain in locations where currently available. From mile post 4.9 to mile post 5, the typical section will include a four foot southbound bicycle lane, three 11 foot lanes, and a four foot northbound bicycle lane. The improvements also include updating pedestrian ramps and signal features to comply with ADA requirements and addressing existing signing and drainage impacted by the proposed improvements. The construction project manager is Eric Jaggers. The estimated construction cost for this project is $2.2 million, 
and the construction start date is scheduled for August 2020. This project will be part of the CEI Group 180 contract advertised in March 2019. NPID 429-556-1. The proposed improvements include construction of a new fixed span bridge over the St. Johns River, where State Road 44 crosses from Lake County into Volusia County. The new bridge will be designed to accommodate a future 12-foot multi-use trail in reconstructing the two-lane rural roadway bridge approaches. In addition, the signal at State Road 44 and County Road 42 intersection will be replaced and the access road to Pier 44 Marina will be relocated. Access changes to Edstone Park, St. John's Marina, Old New York Avenue, and Shady Oaks are also proposed. Additional improvements also include new stormwater ponds and various safety enhancements. The construction project manager is Eric Jaggers in the Leesburg Operations Office. The estimated construction cost for this project is $38 million and the anticipated construction start date is August 2020. The project is CEI Group 189 as to be advertised in December 2019. SDID 439-853-1. This is an ITS expansion project in Brevard County along the State Road 507 corridor from south of Eber Boulevard to north of State Road 508. This ITS project will replace the existing wireless communication with an ITS fiber optic network along the corridor to tie into the existing ITS system in Brevard. Esther Montoya in Brevard Operations is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 100 days and construction is anticipated to start in July of 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $944,000 and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. FPID 439-856-1. This is an ITS expansion project in Brevard County along the State Road 500 US 192 corridor from west of Derry Road to east of State Road 5. This ITS project will replace the existing wireless communication with an ITS fiber optic network along the corridor to tie into the existing ITS system in Brevard. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 90 days and the construction is anticipated to start in August of 2020. The estimated construction cost of this project is $493,000 and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. FPID 439-857-1. This is an ITS expansion in Brevard County along the State Road 5 US 1 Harvard City Boulevard corridor from south of the University Boulevard to north of Babcock Street. This ITS project will replace the existing wireless communication with an ITS fiber optic network along the corridor to tie into the existing ITS system network in Brevard. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 120 days, and construction is anticipated to start in July of 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $914,000, and it is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. FPID 443-269. Dash one. This is a bridge rehabilitation project of State Road 3 over Barge Canal in Brevard County. This bridge rehabilitation project involves replacing the span locks on the Krista McAuliffe Memorial Bridge 700072 and 700201. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. This made construction duration is 120 days and construction is anticipated to start in December of 2019. The estimated construction cost for this project is $953,000 and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. FPID 441166-1. This project involves the rehab of four bridges in Brevard County that carry State Road 528 over the Banana River Relief and over the Indian River. This bridge rehabilitation project will replace repair the bulkheads of bridges 
and 700221. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 150 days and construction is anticipated to start in March of 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $1.4 million and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. SPID 443-308-1. This project in Brevard County is for the bridge rehabilitation of Freeroad 520 over the Indian River release. This bridge rehabilitation project will consist of the desilting of bridges 700-170 and 700-171. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 40 days and construction is anticipated to start in March of 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $81,000 and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. SPID 443265-1 involves the bridge rehabilitation of State Road 3 over Barge Canal in Brevard County. Bridge numbers 70072 and 70201. This bridge rehab project will include replacing all fender hardware cable wraps, and switching from wood to plastic fender material. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 130 days and construction is anticipated to start in August of 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $1.1 million and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. SPID 443-264-1. This is the bridge rehabilitation of State Road 404 over the Indian River and the Banana River in Brevard County. This bridge rehabilitation project will include replacing all fender hardware, cable wraps, and switching from wood to plastic fender materials. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 170 days and construction is anticipated to start in July 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $1.8 million and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. SPID 436-122-1. This project involves intersection improvements of the State Road 405 Spaceport Connector in Brevard County. This intersection improvement project will include the widening of State Road 405 at State Road 50, Barna Avenue, and Grissom Parkway to accommodate new left and right turn lanes, milling and resurfacing, improvements of pedestrian accommodations, and drainage modifications will also be included in this project. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 200 days, and construction is anticipated to start in October of 2019. The estimated construction cost of this project is $2.6 million and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. SPID 436-123-1. This project involves intersection improvements in Brevard County. The project involves whitening of State Road 405 Columbia Boulevard at Season Road to accommodate a left turn lane as well as the milling and resurfacing and drainage modifications. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 180 days and construction is anticipated to start in January 2020. The estimated construction cost for this project is $1 million and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. FPID. 439-777-1. This is an access management project in Brevard County on State Route 520, Merritt Island Causeway, from west of Newfound Harbor Drive to east of South Banana River Drive. This project will include the construction of a raised concrete median 
and directionalized left turn lanes in place of the existing two-way left turn lane median. The project will also include minor drainage work along with pedestrian, transit, and lighting improvements. Esther Montoya is the construction project manager. The estimated construction duration is 100 days and construction is anticipated to start in October of 2019. The estimated construction cost for this project is $619,000 and is part of the CEI Group 183 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for March 2019. SPID 439131-1. This is a milling and resurfacing project on I-95, State Road 9, in Volusia County. The improvements under this project consist of milling and resurfacing with some overbuild for cross slope corrections on I-95 from Airport Road to the Flagler County line. The construction project manager is Rick Coe in the DeLand Operations Office. The estimated construction cost for this project is $16 million and the anticipated construction start date is July 2020. This project will be part of CEI Group 184 with advertisement in July of 2019. SPID 443267-1. This is a bridge rehab project on bridge 790128 that carries State Road 44 over US-1 and the FEC Railroad in Volusia County. The improvements on this project consist of applying an epoxy overlay system on the concrete bridge deck. The overlay shall be uniform in texture and color and shall not change the existing deck slopes. The work also includes pretreatment of the concrete surface and the sealing of existing concrete cracks using a material compatible with the overlay. The construction project manager is Rick Coe. The estimated construction cost for this project is $431,000 and the anticipated construction start date is April 2020. This project will be part of CEI Group 184 with advertisement in July of 2019. SPID 443271-1. This is a bridge rehabilitation project on State Road 430 over the Halifax River in Volusia County. The improvements on this project consist of bearing rehab of the State Road 430 eastbound and westbound sea breeze bridges, bridge numbers 790174 and 790175. The work also includes pretreatment of the concrete surface and the sealing of existing concrete cracks using a crack sealing material compatible with an overlay. The construction project manager is Rick Coe. The estimated construction cost for this project is $377,000 and the anticipated construction start date is May 2020. This project will be part of CEI Group 184 with advertisement in July of 2019. SPID 442-499-1. This is an IPS project on State Road 44 from Airport Road to 3rd Avenue in Volusia County. The improvements under this project consist of the removal of existing video detection cameras and installation of new video detection cameras, Bluetooth devices, wireless access point devices, and equipment upgrades. The construction project manager is Rick Coe. The estimated construction cost of, for this project is $837,000 and the anticipated construction start date is June 2020. This project will be a part of CEI Group 184 with advertisement in July of 2019. SPID 442522-1. This is an ITS project on State Road 421 from Summer Trees Road to A1A, State Road 5, in Volusia County. The improvements under this project consist of the removal of the existing video detection cameras, the installation of new video detection cameras, Bluetooth devices, wireless access point devices, and equipment upgrades is also included. The construction project manager is Rick Coe. The estimated construction cost for this project is $902,000 and the anticipated construction start date is May 2020. This project will be part of CEI Group 184 with advertisement in July of 2019. 
NPID 437-543-1. This project is milling and resurfacing of US-441 from north of Tyson Creek Road to US-192 in Osceola County. The project includes variable depth milling, overbuild, widening, turnout construction, minor drainage improvements, bridge joints, pile jackets, and clearing and grubbing work. Trevor Williams is the construction project manager in the Orlando Operations Office. The construction start date is anticipated to be in April of 2020, with an estimated construction cost over $10 million. This project is listed as CEI Group 185. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for April of 2019. Also, this is a business development initiative, commonly referred to as BDI. To participate in a BDI, specific small business eligibility criteria must be met. SPID 439-682-1. This is a resurfacing project in Seminole County on I-4, State Road 400, from west of Lake Mary Boulevard to the Volusia County line in the westbound lanes only. The construction project manager has not been determined, but will be from the Vita Operations Office. The construction start date is anticipated to be in June of 2020, with an estimated construction cost of $8.8 .8 million. This is the only project in the CEI Group 186 contract. The current CEI advertisement date is scheduled for September of 2019. This is a BDI project. SPID 410674-2. This project is located in Marion County and will involve the reconstruction and widening of State Road 40 from two lanes to four lanes from west of northeast 60th Court to 4,000 feet east of County Road 314. The new roadway will have two 12-foot lanes in each direction separated by a 40-foot grass median. The 12-foot multi-use trail will run along the north side of the road from northeast 60th Court to Rayway Side Park near the Ocklawaha River Bridge. This project also includes the replacement of the Ocklawaha River Bridge with two bridges at lower profile. Wildlife crossings are provided throughout the project. The construction project manager is Rhonda Daniel out of the Ocala Operations Office. The estimated construction cost for this project is $129 million and the anticipated construction start date is October 2020. This project is listed as the CEI Group 188 contract and it's scheduled to be advertised in February 2020. Good morning. I'm Kathy Alexander, Program Management Administrator here at District 5, and we have three advertisements for the next year for a total of $45 million. Details on these advertisements are followed in the slides. SPID 436094 2 32 Dash zero one. This contract is for the General Engineering Consultant. The General Engineering Consultant, or GEC, provides a wide range of engineering, architectural, surveying and mapping, technical, management, and administrative services. This contract shall function as an extension of the department's resources by providing qualified technical and professional personnel to perform duties and responsibilities assigned under this contract. The formal ad date is October 2019. The anticipated contract execution is July 2020. Ad number 20505 will be utilized to facilitate local agency program or LAP administration and services for our local agency partners. This is a five-year, $5 million continuing services contract where assignments will be issued via task work orders to the selected consultant team. Key expectations to the contract include a knowledgeable design team with LAP project experience, technical coverage to address any or all of the work types for any project that may be issued under a task work order under this contract. Various types of projects may be issued through a task work order including but not limited to sidewalks, trails, safety, and operational improvements. District-wide coverage is also needed as the contract will serve local agencies in any of the nine counties within the district. The main objective of this contract is to improve coordination, communication, and efficiently manage and maintain lab project schedules. While this is an FDOT contract, the end product is local agency driven 
and the awarded consultants will need to have the ability to serve as an advocate for FDOT and serve the local agency needs. Advertisement 20506 is for a continuing services contract for construction engineering and inspection services to support our local agency program, or LAP. Selection will be from expanded letter of response. Key expectations for selection include LAP experience, depth of staff, district-wide coverage for assignments may be issued in any of the nine counties, proactive streamline approach to contract administration, and the ability to efficiently coordinate between FDOT and our local agency partners. Sample construction projects include, but are not limited to, sidewalks, trails, safety, and operational improvements. The contract manager is Rick Grooms, and the expected contract execution is in September of 2019. Our maintenance units will have two advertisements in the upcoming year for a total of $10 million. Details on those follow. Project number 237975-1-32-10, District-Wide Maintenance and Drainage Design Consultant Services. This is a five-year contract, budgetary cap $5 million. Estimated advertising is September 2019. Estimated contract execution is April 2020. Provide engineering consultant services to assist the district maintenance department with maintenance and drainage issues. Services include, but are not limited to, drainage analysis, design, geotech, survey work, plans and specifications, preparation, site visits, drainage permit reviews, and drafting proposals, and solution to remedy issues. FPID 435-504-1. 7205 is a maintenance support services contract. The contract will have a ceiling of $5 million and will be managed by Blake Baker. The estimated execution date is January 2020. This contract will augment the department's maintenance personnel staff in District 5. It includes, but is not limited to, inspection of contract and permit activities, contract administration, plan reviews, data collection, reporting, and entry, permit administration, and record keeping. The Disadvantaged Business Enterprise, or DBE program, is a program to help ensure equal opportunity in contract award and administration. A DBE is a minority-owned business. The purpose of the DBE program is to help level the playing field so that minority-owned businesses can successfully compete in the marketplace. It does this by ensuring the integrity of certifying DBE firms through the DBE certification process and by removing barriers that would otherwise limit a DBE's chances of participating in DOT contracts. FDOT established a three-year goal of 10.65% DBE participation in October of 2017. This is a goal that FDOT believes can be achieved through the normal competitive procurement process and with the current availability of DBEs. The goal itself is not a requirement, but participation in the program is. DBE participation best practices will help achieve the goal. Always consider DBE firms during bidding. All bidders, DBE, non-DBE, successful and unsuccessful, must submit a bidder opportunity list. This is submitted at the time of bid into the EOC or Equal Opportunity Compliance system. Included in this list are all the companies solicited or that reached out seeking work on the project, whether they are DBE, non-DBE, successful, or unsuccessful. The DBE directory can be utilized to find certified DBEs. Good faith efforts to reach the DBE goal must be documented and include the name of the business, date solicited, date of response, and the outcome. DBEs have to be paid monthly and their payments need to be recorded in EOC along with their commitments. Remember, the DBE availability can be passed down to any subconsultant and any tier. This is just a reminder for all of our advertisements. If you wish to request any contract or project information prior to the formal advertisement, 
please make that request to the project or the contract manager. At the formal advertisement and post-formal advertisement during the application stage, you'll want to request the information from our professional services unit with the assigned contract analyst that is provided on the advertisement. And as Lorene mentioned earlier, this webinar has been recorded and it will be posted at the link that you see here on this slide. And that will be available early next week. Our information is also going to be made available on the District 5 Consultant Acquisition Plan. But you also want to keep a lookout for any additional advertisements that may get added throughout the year at that second slide. The SBOT Procurement Advertisements is the third website. I'm sure everyone is familiar with that one. And also some additional useful information for our consultants is our quarterly quality forum. The website is provided there. All of the past forum contents as well as any future planned ones are available there for your review. With that, so that's hey, thank you, Kathy. Um, as you can see, we have a robust group of contracts coming out uh, with 42 contracts totaling um, around $163 million. Um, before we end this morning, we would be happy to take any questions. Stephanie, do we have any questions yet? We did not receive any questions. Okay, we'll give everybody about a minute in case they have any questions, and then uh, we will conclude. Anybody typing? No. Okay. Okay, Mario's asking, Mario DiPola is asking if this will be on the cap next week. When will the marketing meeting times be announced? I can only speak, this is Suzanne Phillips, I can only speak for the marketing meeting for the consultant uh, project management office. We are hoping to have those marketing times available no later than the end of next week. So by February 15th. The marketing means you can coordinate through Lisa Schmidt. And the Planning and Environmental Management Office actually has a link under the consultant project management, so there will be a link there that you can refer to for requesting. And just as a reminder, um, Mario and everybody else on the webinar, feel free to reach out to any of the project or the contract managers as well. If you're interested in attending a marketing meeting or if there is going to be one scheduled, they would be able to provide you the most um, precise information on that. Okay. A couple yeah. more. Uh, let's tell the group one more time when they when the slideshow will be made available on the CAP website. The slideshow will be made available at the District 5 marketing website. However, we could put a link or a shortcut that will come from the CAP over to the marketing website. The information that's going to be made available on the CAP is going to be the project specific for consultant project management and the pd &E. So we're going to go ahead and put on the screen here the website where that information is going to be posted. And there will be a recording as well as the slide, a PDF of the slides. Okay, one last question from Jeff Messenger. What about the meetings for the QA contract? Quality assurance. Yeah, um, those will be handled through the consultant project management website. That's it. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you very much for attending. Thank you all very much for spending an hour, hour and a few minutes with us. Again, this information will be available on those um, websites. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Dora Rockefeller. Um, her name, her contact information is at the bottom of this slide. It, again, just want to reiterate, if you're looking for contractor project-specific information, reach out to the contacts listed on each of the slides. I hope everybody has a great weekend.